cheesecake is one of those top 10 desserts that everyone loves, but nobody ever wants to make it. It's too difficult, it might crack, it has to be baked in some special water bath. Well, I'm here today to show you how simple it is to make a beautiful cheesecake. It's gonna be your go-to recipe to bring to a friend's house, to make when you have company. You're gonna love it. It's flexible and it's so simple. I'm Sugar and you're watching Cooking with Sugar TV. Let's get in the kitchen and make a beautiful New York style cheesecake. So I'm here in the kitchen and before I start cooking, I just want to thank my neighbor Helen for getting me this beautiful apron for my birthday from Anthropology. I just love it. You don't need a lot of ingredients for this recipe, so let me show you what you're going to need. So you're going to need some cream cheese, some vanilla, sour cream, lemon juice, flour, butter, sugar, some cookie crumbs, and I'm using graham cracker, but you could use chocolate or any kind you like, and some eggs. Okay, before we start, I'm going to line the bottom of my springform pan with some tin foil. And this helps catch anything that might leak out the bottom. So I just take two pieces, sort of crumble them around the bottom there. Then I'm going to spray the pan, just a little cooking spray, all around. And that pan is ready to go. Now, to make my crumb topping, I have my cracked crumbs here, those are cookie crumbs, and I'm going to add my butter, give that a mix, then I'm going to mix in my sugar, and I'm just going to give this a good mix. So now this is all mixed up and ready to get put into my pan, so I'm going to just dump this into the springform pan and again this is a no fuss cheesecake we're not going to stress out about it we're just going to put this into the pan we're going to press it down i just use my measuring cup just to go around and press it as evenly as i can all around pressing it up onto the sides like that can you see that and get it as even as you can and remember, cooking is a work of art, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Every cheesecake's going to be different, every cake's going to be different, and that's okay. Food is beautiful just on its own. Now that crust is ready to go into a 325 degree oven for about 10 minutes. So my crust just came out of the oven, and that's going to set aside and cool while we make the filling. You want to make sure your cream cheese and your eggs are room temperature before you mix your batter. And then we're going to add our sugar. And we're going to just get that blended a little bit. Now I'm going to add the lemon juice and the vanilla, and you can use vanilla bean or vanilla extract. And then we're going to keep blending that till it's nice and smooth, and I'm going to keep pushing it down with my spatula. Now I want to make sure this is blended smooth so I don't have any lumps of cheese. And then when we add the eggs, we're going to add them one at a time, mixing in between. Okay, now that looks nice and smooth, so I'm going to start adding my eggs. And I like to put them in a measuring bowl because it just seems to be easy to let one out at a time. So there's one, and I'm going to give that a little mix. Now once that's mixed in, I'm going to add the next one. Just let it fall in there. I'm just going to scrape it down again. Now I'm going to add the last egg. And 
And now the last thing I'm gonna do is add the flour. And that just gives it a little bit of binding. I'm just gonna give it a little mix because sometimes that flour pops out. I'm gonna scrape it down one more time. Give it one last mix. And this baby is ready to go. Okay, so my batter's made, and I'm gonna get that poured into the crust here. Now the cheesecake mixture is actually gonna cover the graham crackers, so you don't have to worry that your graham crackers aren't high enough. That's just gonna be a crust that's gonna be sort of on the bottom and a little ways up. And then this is going back into a 325 degree oven for about 50 minutes. Now I'm adding my sour cream to the bowl. So this is gonna make our sour cream topping. And this is great because this covers up any cracks if your cheesecake cracks. So we got the sour cream, sugar, a little lemon juice, a little vanilla, and we're gonna just mix that up. Now this is gonna be our sour cream layer that's gonna go on top of the cheesecake when it comes out. We're gonna put this on and then put it back in for 10 minutes. Now my cheesecake is still cooking, so this sour cream mixture is gonna get covered and put into the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. So my cheesecake has been cooking in the oven for about 55 minutes, and you could see how it's just a little jiggly in the middle there, but it looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes, keep the oven on, and then it's gonna get the sour cream coating. Now it's ready for the sour cream topping. So we're just gonna put that on top, spread it lightly, and this is gonna go back in the oven for 10 minutes. Then you're gonna take your cheesecake out and you're gonna let it cool for a while. Just set it on a rack and let it cool. And once it's cooled, you're gonna cover it and put it in the refrigerator. And I like to leave it overnight, but it needs at least four to five hours so that it sets up nicely. And you notice my cheesecake had no cracks, but if it did, this would cover it. So this is gonna go back in the oven. Now I made this cheesecake yesterday and it was covered in the refrigerator overnight. So I'm gonna show you how to get it out of the springform pan. This is an easy way to do this. You're gonna take a big can, you're gonna place your springform pan on top, release the spring, and then just let it fall. And now you can reach your cake. Can you see how pretty that looks? Then we can just put it on our pie plate and that's ready to slice and decorate if you like. I like to decorate my cheesecake with some fresh fruit, so I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. You're gonna put a couple of slices in a little strawberry, and you're gonna fan it out like that. So you take it, put a couple of slices, and then you fan it. Look at how beautiful that looks. So when I slice my cheesecake, I'm gonna give that a little decoration or you could even put it on top of the cake. Now, I like to keep the cheesecake simple, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of mint on top there and some of my pretty fanned out strawberries. So I sliced a piece of the cheesecake and when I serve it to someone, I like to add just a little bit of whipped cream. And this is homemade whipped cream. So I just like to decorate the dish with some whipped cream, maybe a little extra strawberry, a little bit of strawberry syrup. You see how beautiful that is? You have the sour cream layer, you have the cookie crust layer on the bottom, and it looks gorgeous. So let's give it a taste. I've been waiting since yesterday to eat this cake. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, it's so creamy. It's super delicious. For more recipes and tips, be sure to log on to my website, 
at cookingwithsugar.com. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click on the subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss super great food like this. Okay, I've showed you how to make a cheesecake and you see it's really not that hard to serve a beautiful, delicious, homemade dessert. But I really want to share with you the reason that I take the time to do what I do. Anyone can go to the store and buy a dessert when you go to someone's home or you have someone at your home. But when you take your time and you put your love and all of your energy into making something special, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to look perfect like you bought it at a store. It's homemade, it's beautiful, it's from the heart. I think it means a lot to people. It shows that you care, it shows that you took the time. So do it. I'm sure if you take the time to make a beautiful dessert like this and serve it to your family and friends, they are going to truly appreciate it and maybe spread the love and do the same. I'm always, everybody's always freaking out. I'm gonna jump in the pool in a minute.